Okay, this is a 317 run. I'm going to try and show how to clear it. My team comp is Heathcliff, Faust, Quixote, uh, LCCB, uh, Rodia, and G Corp Hit Manager of this. Uh, if you do not have these units, feel free to sub in anyone else that does blunt. The reason I'm using them is because she has 3 blunt and she also has good statuses. As well as my G Corp Otis having 2 blunt, as well as very good debuffs and buffs. Uh, I also did the borrow technique where I go out of this edit team, click Hong Lu, click here. And now I have a 6 member of the party. The reason I picked this character is because he has 2 blunt. And if I had a support that actually had built their hair suit, I would 100% bring him because he has a blunt here as well as an ego that does blunt. This team will be mainly funneling its ego energy into Faust. Faust cost. 4 and 2, so you must keep them in mind when you play. You have a surplus of the green energy and thick of these blue energies, with the only source being my Faust and my Rodia. If you do not have enough energy for this one, then you could build for someone else's. For example, Heath. Heath. Uh, Heath Ego is. 2 purple and 2 DNA, which this comp naturally should have. Yeah, Heath generates some DNA and my Quixote generates some DNA. The, the reason I use Quixote is because the enemies are normally resistant to puncture and uh, fatally weak to blunt. And Quixote is uh, 3 moves of puncture, so it's better than having uh, 3 splash moves like Yi Sung. You should not use Yi Sung here because he only has 3 splash moves. Uh, any other units that you want to bring in, just make sure that they have blunt or they provide a lot of utility. Utility being things like uh, Blade Lineage Cell 2, who has Paralysis and Bleed, can help to do a lot of extra chip damage and help you win more clashes. So now if it's 6-man party, I'm gonna start and show you how it's done. Uh, take note that since my units are under level, there's going to be a little bit of RNG if your units are also the same under level units as mine. So of course it will be best if you grinded your blunt units up a little bit. I'm just picking based on the blunt damage type, how much damage is doing, and whether it triggers any of my support. This is pretty good. I will let that happen. I need two of these. That's favored. Neutral. Okay. Right. Fine. Now we just pray that we go well. And that is one dagger. Like with this. Everyone rolled really well. Okay, one stagger means that one enemy is not hitting you, so it is almost a free kill. Unopposed, neutral, neutral. Okay, I will roll the 8 12. Uh, favored, okay. Neutral, okay. Entertainment, what's entertainment? Entertainment is heal 6 SP next turn. That is. okay. Yeah, this is. Eh, it's too slashing. It's actually not very really good. I prefer this one. Yeah, more damage is important. You have to be damaging them. Ah, oh, unlucky. Okay, that's the stagger. You won't have to worry about that guy. <laughs> Many things are happening, but you really don't need to worry about it. Uh, I think one thing you need to remember though is that they have this thing called fanaticism. Oh yes, it's when they whistle, sorry, not fanaticism. Yeah. When Chroma whistles, they get quite a few buff. So that is one of the main reasons why you are getting wrecked here. But if you follow my plan and just stagger them, you will have a pretty decent chance of mm, this 
this is this does not activate anything, but it's blunt damage. Oh, but it is blunt damage as well. Activates morale boost. Morale boost is great. Just haste. Lower speed gains one final power. Okay, sure. You take that. Okay. Shoot some kills here. Start. We only have one person who staggered, and the rest are pretty healthy. Now we are just going to let everything fly because the enemies are pretty low, and I'm certain that my units will kill them. Okay, that was a bit of a unlucky. I probably should have read whether they were one or not. Oh well, it's okay. 80 health, it's still fine. Tiger gets cleansed when you move to the next scene, by the way. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to stagger them, we need to kill them fast. So I'm going to activate foul, I'm going to activate heave. If you don't have uh, them activated, then uh, tough luck, but uh, if you just keep smacking them, you should be able to win no matter what. Uh, this is 4 to 12, this is 3 to 10. In terms of dice ruling, this one is better. Then after that we use our ego. This is two hits, this is ego. Two hits. Then that's our ego. And then this is four to sixteen. Gain attack power. And uh, this is four to sixteen. So this has a higher max. So we should use this one like. Okay. Alright, now we just pray a little bit for some good rules. Pongalu is willing for his life over here. Ah, he's blocked. Fine. <laughs> Keep giving them the stagger. Good job, boss. Modern Kelvadrin, how's the guy? If he wins this, he can stagger. Because body sack is very hard to take for this stage. Oh, he like 1 HP off the stagger. Oh no, no, he did hit it, I think. I think that's it, yeah. Okay, he did hit the stagger. Perfect. Okay, uh, we have heaves again, so I'm gonna pop it again. You will not be safe in this map until all of them are dead or at least like one is left because the whistling that Cromer is doing is very very annoying he's giving them too many buffs so for you want to just kill them as fast as you can until they only have one or two left and then it's time to kind of build up your energy again for your ego boost don't be afraid about overspending it's more important that you get past this with as few deaths and as much HP as possible. My Quixote manages to live here, cool. Okay, good, we kill. Ooh, that one's gonna hurt. Ouch. And he's dead, okay. That's fine. One death for this stage is quite okay. Quite normal for me, really. Uh, my units are under leveled, so that's something to remember. Just try and maximize your damage as much as you can. Unopposed, unopposed, unopposed. Okay. I also have Fowl's House if I want to trigger it. But I, uh, with only two enemies left and no whistle, I think I'm going to just take the odds here and just let these uh, attacks fly. Ah, he, no. Ah, out it, no! Okay, 
Okay, all staggered, so now we just build up energy. We need blue, green, purple, and what if he oh. is DNA. So we need DNA as well. So good thing that we have some DNA sources from Kyote. Okay, nice. Getting to this stage with 5 people alive is pretty good. Now, activate. Activate. I just want to point out 300% by the way. 300% <laughs> damage. Kind of nuts. Uh, the reason I think it's 300% is because they are weak. No, no, okay, no, no, no. They are weak to blunt. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. I'm still not hundred percent sure on every single mechanic in the game yet. So you have to you have to forgive me. Uh neutral here. Okay. Yep. We'll GG the dominating. Favored, favored. Uh, unfortunately I don't have uh, any ego source, so I'm just gonna have to take the favored trait, take the AoE from found. And uh, do more blunt damage. Okay. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Oh wait, that was an ego, never mind. There was no need to tie there. Okay, good. Oh no, Kyote lost. He's cheating. He, he, Kyote, no. It's okay, Kyote. We will avenge you. Go for boom. Huh? Oh no, we are panicking. That is oh boy. Okay, this is a bit sus. That's more damage, dominating of course, and this is more damage. Yep. Okay, here we go. Nice. Both those all outcome. Kaboom! <laughs> Looks like one side of the attack, so nothing I can do about that. Okay, everything still looks fine. Body sec active. 433%! God damn! Oh! Oh! Does he have attack power up? Oh, okay. Alright. Actually, Whoa. why do I have so much fragile on myself? I think they are applying it. Apparently, though. Uh, neutral, so I'm gonna dominate. With that. Uh, quick point, dominating. Perfect. Jokanda! Yane Tamajuji! Nice dagger. It's mighty. Oh no, she lost at the last. Nice, got the dagger. 
Alright, look at that. Victory is in our hands. Uh, puncture, blunt, 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 uh, blunt, blunt, blunt. Okay. Alright, and that is G17 clear. Uh, if you had my unit built a little bit more, I'm certain that you could clear 317 much easier than me. I took about 12 turns, I think, to get the clear here. So, uh, if my units were a little bit more built, I feel like I could have gotten less than 10, that's for sure. So, I hope that this video helps you in your team building and decision making for 317. And thank you all for watching. Well.